Jen's recording. I don't know. No, I'm just taking pictures. She, she, she's got like 300 pictures of that street. Like, I don't know. I do not. I don't know what we're going to do with these 300 pictures of shoes, but we got them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not carrying any home. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> carrying rocks, you can carry shoes. So, <laughs> so we think today's day eight. We think. We're not sure. Scott's in it's track seven or eight. I've lost track. I'll look. We're at Neil's <laughs> Gap or Neil Gap. That's a huge debate. We're slack packing today to Hog Pen. It's going to be a little over seven miles. And elevation wise, it's going to be our most aggressive day on trail. So we're very excited. We're going to see how it goes. And we do have a couple spots we could get picked up at another gap if we had to. But we're running a little behind and we got to get to stepping. Yeah, we got till yeah. five to get there. We've wasted about an hour here futzing around with stuff. Well, we're trying to arrange for our package and stuff because the package now is moving now that I checked on it. After 10 days, it decides it wants to move. It's going to be here March 1st and we're not going to be here anymore. No. <laughs> no. So we're having that sent back to our house and we'll start over. So even though you can send fuel in the boxes with little labels, it goes ground, don't do it because it don't move. Unless you don't mind sending it in for a long time, far, far, far ahead. Right. <laughs> yeah, so send priority, just FYI. Yeah. Anything else? Nope, time it's to get It's cold. Stepping. The kitty bowl's frozen. There's a bowl over here for the yellow kitty. And it, it, this is how cold it is. <laughs> it's it's uh, frozen oh, no. solid. <laughs> It'll thaw out, so it's, it's below 30 degrees. He's very and cute. He keeps running at everyone, meowing. And he, he is loves very cute. Cars. And this is the uh, this is the only building the trail goes through. So we get to go through this building on our hike, and it's the only building that it, the the trail actually goes through on the hike. I fell inside the building. Yeah, I, I, the camera, I have no idea how this is coming out, so. Wow, it's like a thousand It's like a time warp. It was like a time warp. It's like we, it's literally like we just went through a vortex. We come through that building and the whole sound changes. 100%, really weird. <laughs> look at, look at Orange Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> crazy it's a crazy adventure but we're off we're gonna get to stepping uh, it feels weird having this light of a pack on i couldn't get mine really on weird. i couldn't even get my pack on without help it's so light it feels <laughs> weird the packs feel really weird Wind, <laughs> wendy's flopping about trying to get an ultra light pack on because you've been fighting with this heavy pack all for the past eight days and i've gotten a nice technique with my heavy pack but the light pack Anyways, we're off. See ya. About a mile out of Neil's Gap. Been all uphill. <clears throat> the views are still stunning. It's a beautiful day. Things are going good now that we got stepping. Took a few steps and the, I could feel my heel rubbing feel my heel rubbing on the back of my shoe every step so I immediately stopped and taped my heel with mole skin to keep from getting a blister in a hot spot. Now the trail's mostly been this nice path path stuff again. Woody Woodpecker. I don't know if you heard that or not. That's pretty Well, we're gonna shed layers early. Yeah. We we got heated up pretty quick. This is good. We gotta get these layers off. There she is. She's coming up through there. We we'll got layers off, and there was a woodpecker right there. Hopefully, maybe Jen can catch a picture of it with her fancy camera. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I saw him to catch him again. I didn't see him. Did you see him? I didn't stop to look. All of our arms are really cold. We stripped those layers off. Yeah, you can't even see. My arms are red. Goosebumps. She, you you well, do have goosebumps. 
<laughs> you see the red. You do have goosebumps. I do have goosebumps. <laughs> wow. With the wind picked up, I even got more goosebumps. And you have long sleeves on. Your arms are cold. Well, because I'm wearing a sun hoodie. Right. So I'm just sitting here <laughs> bathing in the sun. It's beautiful up here, though. I could bathe in the sun. I like the sun. Going down. I don't know I'm going down. Backside of something. But we've been doing these stair, stair type rocks, but they haven't had the huge steps like they had on the backside of blood. But we're coming right down over something. And luckily this got warm enough so this water is not froze. It was froze solid. I showed a video of it on the front side of the mountain. We had, we had cold up here last night this ice on the trail and you can see the water bubbles rolling underneath the ice. It's so cool. And there's little, uh, there's little like hair, icicle hairs everywhere. They like spring up. Like these little uh, stalactite, stalagmite things <laughs> you would see in caves, but they're on the ground from the ice. That's what they remind me of. But here on the backside, it's gotten warm enough so that the water, the ice is melted. That's very nice. Oh, well, the up, we need my jet <laughs> wow, we're coming. To, look at that drop off right there, went in front of you. That thing just drops right off there. That's awesome. <laughs> you just look out and it's just like just. Oh, oh wow. I just fell over wow. here. Wow. Jen's Hawkeye, I'm telling you. I was going right by these. I heard one of these fall down. That is so neat. It looks like it's got fangs. I was gawping at this drop off. Like you just look out through the trees and there's nothing. <laughs> Standing up on this ridge, just a beautiful, beautiful view right here. For, I think this one, one came down yesterday. It looks like you might have. Pretty uh, gnarly on the inside. Yeah, that would not be fun to catch. Oh, there. Yeah, this there big tree. Right off that top. Big tree right here. Wow. You want that? Oh, well, that looks. Very much like it came down yesterday in that wind, which was why we zeroed. Because of crap like this. Check out this green briar. It's right on the trail. Like, and this stuff is gnarly. Like, just vicious, vicious, vicious. Those thorns will rip you to shreds. They do a really good job keeping it off the trail, but that right there is the closest I've seen those nasty briar right on trail. But if you ain't paying attention, those things are gonna tear you up. They'd rip a hole right in your pant legs, shorts, pack. I wouldn't even think about it if you were walking right along. But we're getting close to Cow Rock, looking for a water source. Because when we get to Cow Rock, we're going to take a lunch break, packs off, hydrate. But I haven't seen that water source that was supposed to be 2.2 away. We've been way more than 0.2. <laughs> we might be hanging out with Cow Rock with the stuff we got on our bodies of water and get the next source. I got almost a liter. How much you got? I got this one's almost full. And then this one. That one's three quarters too. So we got enough for the three of us. Oh, we passed it. To enjoy our lunch. I didn't see a water source, did you? No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I couldn't buy them. I think they were the blue blazes. <laughs> oh, it could have been the blue blaze. <laughs> My guess. Because we're coming up to the first one. It's the Cow Rock Mountain. See ya. Um, next water after that. It's gonna have to be a puddle. Hey, check out that view. I know. <laughs> Next water after that, it's gonna have to be a puddle. Yeah. There's no. 
That's before we go up over 2 there. 2.2 2 ahead. Well, we'll make sure we find that one and stop at that one because we'll need it. Here comes Whoops, the champ. Stepping. Smiling. She's all smiling. It's so blue. And they're cobalt colored. <laughs> they are. The mountains are cobalt co colored. They're very blue today. They're very pretty today. Look, she's always smiling. <laughs> she's always so happy. Some really cool ledges out in there that are like glistening in the sun. Really awesome. Looks like there's somebody sitting over there too, where it's rock, the sun was cow rock. And we think, I think this set of ledges over in here is cow rock. I think, I'm guessing, but we're gonna take a break there when we get over there. So we stripped all our layers off. <laughs> it's one of those mornings where you're sweating like crazy with the layers on. And now we're freezing. We're not freezing. This is a little huddle party. Yeah. <laughs> Pink arms. Hoping they'll warm up. <laughs> we're somewhere, I don't know, two miles outside of Neil's, Neil's Gap. Crevice. We are up on some ledges. Cowabunga! This section of trail is just breathtaking. These are those ledges. We're coming up on those ledges I showed you. I zoomed way in on. We were standing over there somewhere. <laughs> when do you think she's looking into the desert? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't imagine. Well, they're too weird shaped to be buildings. There's a coming. big mountain way out there, and then there's this whole this uh, city skyline. It's skyscrapers. Yeah. <laughs> and then on, on the other side of the mountain, there's these three structures or whatever they the, are. With the monocular, monocular you could, I couldn't really see them with the naked eye, but once I saw them with this, I can pick them out with the naked eye now, but there's a major city out there with skyscrapers. That is a lot of skyscrapers. It's got to be Atlanta, I guess. I don't know. It's a big city. You want to look? Yeah. Welcome to Cow Rock. I have no idea why it's called Cow Rock, but welcome to Cow Rock. Somebody left Trail Magic. I'm hoping they thought it was Trail Magic. <laughs> We are going to take a break and have some lunch here. Ah, I didn't realize it was there. I was thinking it was higher. Holy smokes. This plane just came through this gap. Like, Dang. Like, like right through this gap right here. Like below us. you really nervous something answers you back. <laughs> Somebody could answer me back. <laughs> They're going down into that gap, and we got to go up over that thing right there. And hog pen is on the back like, side of that. I don't usually like rocks, but I like them better than that one much. Yes. Yeah, I'd rather be on the slab than on the mud. Yep. That's what I said, too. 
So I'm going to rock hop where I can see rocks, even though the rocks look a little wet in some spots. Yeah. Bypass the mud. Tesna T Gap. Neil's Gap 5.5, that's where we came from. And we got another mile, mile plus up and over that, over to Hog Bend. Noisy, noisy people. Ugh. Car was making all that noise and he wasn't even going that fast. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's a scenic highway. Huh? 1969. where I'm recording them standing still you can see the up you can see the elevation change here it's pretty dramatic hey guys hello we are at the top of some mountain just before hog pen we dropped <laughs> off this we're in hog pen gap between testnet gap and hog pen yes gap. today has been it just like every day seems to keep getting better like today the views like all day have been phenomenal they're just amazing mm. right they are yes it's been absolutely beautiful <clears throat> you keep getting riper yes <laughs> <laughs> i can't smell them today my nose is running off my face so we're good yeah i don't know how to work on that i don't know speed stick or something i don't know <laughs> so i also want to do a video because i don't know i could do this solo so i had to have the girls here with me uh -oh. So something we haven't talked about is Jen actually has to get off trail. Oh, yeah. um, we haven't brought that up in any of our videos. Uh, I'm here because of her. Without her, I wouldn't be here. And originally she was supposed to hike the whole trail with us. And logistically, we couldn't make that happen. Uh, well, I have this cute little two-year-old that likes to spend his days with me. So... He's only going to be two for so long. <laughs> yes. True. And it's very important to both of us that the two-year-old gets taken care of. Yes. And I would <laughs> I would sacrifice my hike in a second uh, to be with him and, and help raise him too. Yes. Um, so that's, that's the biggest reason um, of why she's getting off trail. Yes. Is to be a major part of his life and, and help raise him um, to be the man he's going to become. Yes. So... Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm choking back tears, and that's why I decided to do this on top of the mountain instead of in a hotel room or something crazy like that, because mm -hmm. we're out here doing it, and, and Jen has been very important to us and probably been a yes. governor a governor that Wendy and I needed yeah. for the first eight days. And she's been teaching me things, so which is okay. great. <laughs> she's been and, teaching me things, which is something that I need to learn anyway, so. And when she goes home, she's not done. Like, she's going to be a huge part of our hike. She's yeah. going to be everything. We both have Garmin's. Winnie has a Garmin with unlimited texting. Um, Jen's gonna be sending us packages, putting packages together, right. tracking us. She's gonna be, a, 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 if not the very important part of this hike, like Helping one of the most important parts. Whenever I can, yes. pickups and hostels and where I think they should stop and things they should see, and stuff like that. Yeah, so I wanted to let everyone know that. and. So here in the next day or two, she's going to be heading home. We're trying to get that ironed out. And we thought that'd be a lot simpler than it is, but it's, it's not simple trying to get from here to a major airport or yeah. it's, it's, it's work. <laughs> you got to figure it out. Nothing comes together smoothly in that part. The shuttle drivers around here have been amazing. Yeah, they've yes. been over backwards. All the shuttle drivers have been so amazing. absolutely amazing. How they work together and we, we texted them last night. We texted them like 730 at night and they just made stuff work it's so hats off to all the shuttle drivers um in the area down here they're they're really working hard for the through hikers and i very much appreciate it we all appreciate yes, it yes very much so so 
with that i'll let you go we're we'll wrapping up our hike today i don't know if i will record much more we just gotta go down off this mountain and we're gonna get picked up and taken back in um because we slack pack today um we're gonna figure out our next journey so See going going up the trail <laughs> bye bye well we made it hug pen gap yep yep <laughs> Seven miles stepping. Them signs right there. Twelve percent grade. That that'd be a pucker factor for driving tractor and trailer back when I did it. You hope your jake brake works. <laughs> yeah. We did it. Yes, we did. We did it. Mm -hmm.